Hello Capricorn, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your messages from Spirit Reading. It will be for April 2021 for the sign of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So let's get straight into your reading and pull your Oracle card. I'm going to pull a few Oracle cards. Remember, these are mainly messages. They won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you. And I'll pull a few Oracle cards and then we'll go into the Tarot cards, okay? So message for Capricorn, please, angels, spirits, guides, okay? Your cards are wanting to turn over on their own, so let's go with it. We have build on solid ground, begin to explore. It's interesting, one seems to follow the other there. Begin to explore building on solid ground. <laughs> It might, you know, that might be a practical thing that you're looking into, you know. Sometimes these things are so uh, are literally kind of like micro messages of yeah, you might be getting some land and building something. Um, let's see what else we get. But also, I, I definitely feel obviously this may mean different things to different people. What do we have for Capricorn, please, angels? Spirits, gui Spirits Guides, what do we have for Capricorn? Thank you. April 2021. What is the message from Spirit? Thank you. We have You Are Not Alone. We are here for you, we never left. Through all the sadness and loneliness, however, you cannot sense us near you or feel how much love we are sending you. We are your family, friends and guides. You never walk alone. We walk right beside you. Oh, beautiful. So this is about, you know, if it is that Capricorn, it is explore things that are going to bring stability and security in your life. Um, venture out, you know, it definitely feels that whatever journey you're making here, it's definitely not alone. Okay, message for Capricorn, please. Message for Capricorn. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I mean, it's almost like the, the cosmos, you know, people you've lost to the other side, angel spirits guides are sending you direct communication. Um, guidance, signs, symbols, messages. We have number two, ascended masters. Create open communication and it is, it is with divine energy. Um, now, yeah, that might, for some of you, might be a practical thing, create, creating open communication this month. Uh, but it definitely is the energy of you are being guided. You know, you're not alone. Create open communication with the universe, people you've lost to the other side. Um, feeling of being watched over here. Capricorn. So I've got Parrot. Listen intently to understand Archangel Bok P. I mean, there's lots of communication energy here. Your intuition will definitely be strong. Um, again, this can be on a practical level as well listening to somebody but I definitely feel in this energy you're absolutely being guided this month you know it's almost kind of like I mean the universe angel spirits guides people from the other side they communicate all the time it's just whether we're aware of it or not um okay what do we have for Capricorn please angels spirits guides message for Capricorn April 2021, message for Capricorn, April 2021. So I'm going to pull three cards, Capricorn. First card is the message from Spirit. Second card is what it relates to. Third card is any advice. So we have the Queen of Cups. Hi, Priestess.
the Hermit, Ace of Cups, Let's clarify this Queen of Cups. Wow, I've got, okay, okay. So I've got the Four of Cups and the Two of Cups Capricorn. So this Queen of Cups is offering you, I mean, Queen of Cups is generally Cancer for me as a reader. It's not limited to that, but she is somebody who represents emotional balance, emotional stability. Um, there's definitely an energy here. Somebody is offering you something. Now, the, t the Two of Cups, it is a bond forming between two people. Yes, it can be an offer of love that you're thinking about. Um, It can also be to do with friendship, a bond be forming between two people, a new connection basically, where you're finding some kind of, you know, uh, bond forming, deep connection here. And it's to do with matters of the heart. Uh, you know, it's on an emotional level. You know, with the Two of Cups, it can be about instant attraction, the conversation flows easy, kindred spirits, it is just that natural energy. But with this Four of Cups, you're being nudged towards it because this person, crossed arms, crossed legs, it's almost kind of like there's a reticence. It could be there's some kind of reticence, you know, um, do I want to take this cup? You know, I'm being offered a cup. I'm being offered something here. But is it for me? I don't know. You know, it's that kind of energy. Now, yes, this can also be offers, invitations. So whatever resonates for you, like I said, these are messages here, somebody offering you something, an invitation. But it's something that's definitely bringing you joy. And it's almost like you're being nudged towards it because spirit is what it relates to is what your intuition is telling you it's almost kind of like with that with that four of cups now you need to take serious note of this don't let this don't let this opportunity pass you by begin to explore building on solid ground so it definitely feels for some of you you're being told you know this you know just explore the potential of what this offers you Create open communication. Listen intently to understand, you know, it's almost kind of like create some kind of dialogue here. Just explore what they're offering you. See what they have to offer. And that's what the High Priestess is telling you. You know, your intuition is guiding you this month. So I definitely feel in this energy. It's about thinking less, feeling more. Think less, feel more. And it, it is feeling, listening to your intuition, this feeling energy, feeling your way through a situation. Because this is heart energy, intuitive energy. The Hermit Capricorn, it is to do with healing. Now, some of you, this could be an offer or an invitation. Um, let's clarify this. Let's clarify this Hermit. Card of Virgo. Let's clarify this hermit, please. Angels, spirits, guides for Capricorn. Yeah, so, I mean, the Two of Swords, it can be about not wanting to see the truth of the situation or blocking the truth or um, weighing up your options, you know? And the hermit energy, I mean, it can be to do with healing. It can also be 
introspection, you know, finding answers from within and how you need to take action, make sound judgment calls in your external environment. And it's to do with this three of pentacles, building something. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I was going to say building something solid <laughs> um, because this is Mars in Capricorn. Uh, building something solid, stable, secure. Uh, and it's the beginnings of success, the Three of Pentacles. Now, this can be about teamwork. So in terms of a new relationship, this is, these are, this is, would be uh, two people who have common goals, common interests that build a solid foundation for future growth. But it's almost kind of like you're weighing it up or you're, you're blocking it. You know, and this is about... Trying to go within, find the answers from within on how you need to move forward and overcome any block or fear that you might have towards maybe embracing some kind of new relationship. Now, sometimes I see this as home or property. So for some of you, if you're in a current relationship, there could be an offer or an invitation to move in with somebody. I could read that this way as well. But definitely the message here is consider this opportunity because it's divinely given to you. The Ace of Cups is divinely given to you and they're linked to your destiny, the Ace of Cups. It is, it's where the, the, the world matches, that the, the world uh, connects with the hand of God, you know, the universe. So very much linked to destiny, uh, the Aces. And this is absolutely something, the beginnings of joy your cup is running over. There is the beginnings of real happiness, joy here, the cup of joy. So you're being told you consider this offer wisely. Don't miss this opportunity. For whatever reason, if you've been healing or there's some mental block here, again, funny enough, I was getting think less, feel more, wasn't I? The heart rules this month. Um, allow your intuition to guide you because that will lead you in the right direction. And this is a wonderful energy of new beginnings uh, on new levels, you know, in relationships, whatever this is for you. Um, but it's something that brings you joy. It's where the heart is opening to receive, um, can be new love, can be to do, like I said, it can be an offer, an invitation, um, friendships, pets, call it what you will, but oh, this is so beautiful. Such a happy, happy, beautiful energy. So, and beneath that, yeah, we have you, Capricorn, the Queen of Pentacles. This is you, male or female energy. And the Queen of Pentacles is nurturing. She can represent healing and nurturing and, and um, nourishment and growth. And um, yeah, it just feels very, very beautiful. This is you. This is about focusing on what is going to bring you value, what is going to bring you growth, what is going to bring you abundance, what is going to, you know, help you flourish and thrive. You know, it definitely feels in this kind of energy to let that in. And that's what this Ace of Cups is linked with. So very good. I mean, the Three of Pentacles, I will say, is very good in terms of money and career as well. The beginnings of success, teamwork, collaboration, business partnerships, um, so like I said, I mean, the cards remain the same, but there's definitely the energy here and the message remains the same. Begin to explore building on solid ground because for some of you, the universe is guiding you, pretty much nudging you uh, towards the Ace of Cups. Um, and I feel it's offered by this person. In whatever context resonates for you, Capricorn, but my goodness, it will be exactly where you need to be. Very beautiful energy. I'm going to pull you a final card. Oh my goodness, Capricorn. These cards have been alarmingly good this, this month. We have uh, listened to your inner voice as we try to connect you, as we try to guide you. Use your intuition, number 21. So I've got listen to your inner voice as we try to guide you. Use your intuition. I mean, you know, 
beautiful. So I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful, wonderful month for you and I will see you next time. Thank you.